3X Lex, Chief Product Engineer and CEO of 3X Tech back in the office. All right, guys, let's get down to it. I wanted to come in here today and talk to you guys about the dimensions a little bit in the size comparison so you can see it right next to the arcade guys cabinet so compared to the 43 inch retro plus uh the dragon slayer the 50 inch version of the dragon slayer is going to be about three and a half inches wider so size wise they're pretty close if you got the retro plus uh, you definitely be able to uh, fit the uh, Dragon Slayer in the same spot like size wise they're very very close and uh, I wanted also yeah I wanted to say too it's and it's it's also the base of the Dragon Slayer is quite a bit slimmer and it will definitely fit well up against the wall and be a very good space saver now with the control panel on it's going to be a little deeper total than the uh, 43 Retro Plus. It's slimmer up top, but the control panel is going to be deeper. So it's going to kind of even out to be a little deeper by a few inches or so. But the depth won't be too big of a difference. I'm still finalizing the depth of the control panel. So... I'll have the exact dimensions for you guys relatively soon, so just to keep you guys abreast with the information. Um, also, what I wanted to talk about, too, was um, someone brought up in the comments, and they made a great point about the tip of the uh, top of the cabinet for the Dragon Slayer, how it goes into the points. Uh, the edge of the sword for both sides. That's a good question because he was concerned about uh, whether that be able to fit through the doorway. Very good question. And that's something I'd already thought about before uh, I planned this cabinet out design wise. In the actual production model of this cabinet that you guys will be getting, the tips from the uh, edge of the marquee up are going to be removable so not only is that going to change the style and give it a more flat uh tr more traditional Vulex style uh cabinet if you choose to remove them but it'll also make getting in the tall spaces and tight doors a lot easier so the tips above the marquee uh on the top of the cab will be removable in the actual production version of this cabinet so for anybody worried about getting this cabinet through a door it's incredibly uh, it's incredibly simple to do so it's incredibly slim the top tips will come off and there will be a process to remove the control panel also so you'll be able to get this cabinet with the control panel and the tips off you'll be able to get it through any doorway possible no matter the doorway, you'll be able to get it through, period. So just wanted to kind of rest those concerns because I've seen a few people mention that since uh, I debuted the cabinet. Anyway, uh, something else. Speaking of the control panel that I wanted to discuss, uh, currently I'm designing, and it's a possibility this feature may make it into the cab. I'm not 100% sure yet. But I'm toying with the possibility of making this control panel somewhat modular. So that would include having actual drawer tracks up, drawer tracks in the arcade cabinet. And um, the control panel would rest on those tracks. Uh, the, it would be locked into place and at that point it could be unlocked and you could slide the control panel back so the control panel would be uh be able to be slid back 10 to 12 inches and uh it would also have support legs under the control panel so uh it support the weight of the control panel once it's slid back on the tracks this will kind of create somewhat of a mini pedestal i've noticed a lot of people uh this is just feedback 
uh, since I've had my Retro Plus, uh, and I've been making these videos over a, almost two years now, I noticed a lot of people say they don't like to be as close to the screen. With a screen this large, 4350 or 55, um, so that will create somewhat of a mini pedestal and um, it would also uh, pull you back an additional, the control panel is already going to be 20 plus inches deep. So being able to extend that back at least another 10 inches would make this somewhat of a mini pedestal. And um, hey, you know, it would be, uh, it would create even more distance between the user and uh, more importantly, the uh, actual arcade screen. So I think there's great potential for something like that. I haven't seen anything of that ilk on a standard arcade cabinet yet. So I'm investigating the possibilities. I'm not sure how difficult that'd be able to implement and how much time that would be, but it's a possibility. But again, don't quote me on it. It's not a guarantee. It may not make the cab. So when it enters production. So I'll let you know and I'll keep you guys abreast. Anyway, guys, uh, look forward to more updates. The bill is coming soon. 3X to the Lex out and I'll be at, get with you on the next one. Peace.